Hey guys, welcome back to Supercar Street Racing and today we have the Marantz Cinema 70S and we're gonna be replacing this old tired Pioneer VSX 1021. So hang out with us while we take a look at this flagship Marantz receiver. Now about one year ago, we did create this nice 5.1 surround sound system in the Supercar Street Racing bedroom. And we also added this nice big Fire TV from Amazon. It has a UE Error 22 showing on the screen. And for some reason, the sound cuts out all the time or just gets really loud and blows you out of the bed. So we're gonna have to disconnect this and get this brand new Cinema 70S connected. So let's get this thing unboxed and see what's inside. Okay guys, we got the brand new Marantz Cinema 70S in front of us. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Now this is the flagship, one of the flagships of the new Marantz lineup. And this is replacing the NR1711 that we have in the Supercar Street Racing Studios as the new updated model. I was a little bit too early to get this model when we built the studio. Let's get it turned around and inside the nice packaging. Very, very nice presentation. You can see already, there's a nice Marantz box on top here. There is an Odyssey mic for calibrating your sound. And then there is your power cord. And inside the box here, check out the presentation. We have the remote, the Bluetooth Wi-Fi antenna, some batteries, and a nice quick start guide. And then under that, it tells you how to use the Heos app to listen to high resolution audio. And then there's an antenna right underneath that for FM and AM radio. Very, very nice. Once inside the box, we see this nice presentation here of the Marantz Cinema 70S. Let's go ahead and get the mic out. This is unlike any receiver I've any, ever unboxed before. The quality and the presentation is very high end for a $1,100 receiver. And you can see the nice wrap here of the Marantz Cinema 70S. We are gonna have to get it off the table now to get it out of the box and it is a slimline receiver. Okay, that is all that's inside the box of the Marantz Cinema 70S. Now here's the Marantz Cinema 70S compared to the VSX 1021 from Pioneer. This Pioneer receiver did come from a thrift store a while back and it is giving me quite a few problems, but notice how well built this Marantz looks compared to the Pioneer and how much more high end this looks. All right, now that we have the Cinema 70S up against the Pioneer, VSX 1021 here. Let's go ahead and get this VSX 1021 disconnected and get this Pioneer out of here. All right, taking a look at the back of the Cinema 70S from left to right, we do see one Wi-Fi Bluetooth antenna upper left, and then we see our phono inputs. We've got our standard audio inputs here, right next to our antennas. At the top, we've got digital inputs, we've got a coaxial, and we've got an optical input. Then we've got our ethernet input jack here. And then we've got the preamp outputs. It does have preamp outputs for all the channels, which is important if you have a high-end system. Right here, there's a remote control. And then at the top, all your inputs for HDMI, and we will be using the ARC input for ours. Now, ARC is audio return channel. This will allow us to play audio from the TV through the receiver. And then you have your speaker outputs at the bottom, front, front, center, surround, surround, and surround back, and surround back and then your standard power jack and your other Bluetooth antenna. Now I did not label these wires when I put them on the back of the Pioneer. I have enough slack where it shouldn't be a problem.
All right, we got the Marantz out. We got it plugged in. We have the audio return HDMI going to the television. And so this is what it looks like here in front of me. Looks so good, so much better than the old one. And I have the remote control right here as well. And I decided to go ahead and just use Wi-Fi because I was using a power line adapter before and it is very slow. To do anything fast, we're gonna need a better network. I would like to run ethernet to this room eventually. And here is the remote control for the Cinema 70S. All right, so we have the receiver plugged in. We have power to the remote control. Let's go ahead and power it on. It did come on and on the front, it does say Marantz here. Really cool looking display input. We should see the setup for this. We do. Okay, we have the setup on the screen now for the receiver. All right, now you guys can see the AV receiver setup assistant here. I'm gonna go ahead and click English. I'm gonna click next. Already got all that stuff done. Okay, is this the speaker setup? Yes, okay. No height speakers, no front top, no that. No, I, ha I don't have Dolby Atmos. Yes, that's already connected. They're gonna play a test tone, so let's see. Set the subwoofer at 30. I do hear front left. I do hear center. I do hear front right. I do hear right surround. I do hear left surround. I do hear the sub. And we have the Odyssey calibration. And we are going to go ahead and break out the microphone for Odyssey. And there is a microphone jack on the front right here to do Odyssey setup. So go ahead and get that plugged in. Go ahead and hit next. But I'm gonna go ahead and plug in. I'm gonna plug in the Odyssey mic. It is plugged in. Connect the calibration microphone to set up. Main listening position is gonna go in the center of the bed back here. Main listening position is going to be with a pillow, just like that. And let's go back to the front. Okay, it's ready to test. Main listening position. Okay, I'm moving the mic. All right, it is done. I stopped at the third listening position. It says disconnect the microphone. Went ahead and did that. The uh, antennas are actually already connected to the back here and it's gonna connect us to network here. Uh, firmware, let's go ahead and try to update the firmware. Yep, there is an update. Okay, it does say one minute left on the update here. And you can see the TV went into screensaver because the receiver has switched off the HDMI signal. Okay, it is not outputting audio to the subwoofer. This is what I was talking about. I need to find that right. setting. Okay, I did figure it out. It was set on full range for the front speakers. I set it to crossover at 40 Hertz and now we have subwoofer audio here on the front. And I don't know what surround sound mode we are in right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get the app opened up and I'm going to record it when I do that. And let's find the app now, Marantz. Go ahead and open the app. Now don't forget we have two Marantz AVRs now. Now it's detecting. It found master bedroom and it found studio. I'm gonna select master bedroom and it is loading. Now it is on Dolby Audio, Dolby Digital plus Dolby Surround, so it's on auto. Welcome back to Supercar Street Racing. I'm Brad, you're in the 4K production studio and we are taking a look today at the Marantz Cinema 70S, as you can see right here on your screen. And the 70S Marantz is one of the flagship Marantz models and it is a slimline model as well. Now this receiver has 50 watts on all seven channels. It does 4K 120 and also 8K. Now, right here in the Supercar Street Racing Studio, we have the old NR1711 from Marantz, which is also their slimline model. 
And unfortunately, I got it right before the 70S came out, so I wasn't able to pick up the new 70S. I did pick up the 70S for my bedroom, and you guys remember, we did a 5.1 audio project in the bedroom about a year and a half ago. And I did use a thrift store receiver at that time. It was a pioneer and I was trying to save money. So I just picked that up and it got by for a little while. Now the pioneer started giving me errors like UE22, which is something to do with updates. And it is so old that it is no longer supported by Pioneer. Now checking out the Cinema 70S right here on Amazon, you can see that if you buy it from this person, this seller, it is $1,193, but you can actually get it for right around $1,000. And I will put links in the description for both of them. When you take this link here, you can actually pay it in Amazon payments. The $1,000 version, you cannot pay it in payments. And this receiver has a 4.2 star review out of 52 ratings. Now I will tell you on YouTube, this receiver has great reviews and it's one of the best receivers I've ever personally used. Just the packaging and presentation was so nice on this receiver. When you open it up, you immediately see the quality there and the effort that they put in to make this a little bit of a higher quality experience for its customers. And going online here, you can see the pictures here of the receiver. And there's the front of the receiver. It has a really nice modern looking high end feel. Here it says elevated performance for the Cinema 70S. Soundmaster tuned using precision components ensures your listening experience is extraordinary. And right here you take a look at the back of the Cinema 70S. And we did go over all this stuff in the video and I showed you the connections on the back there. But notice here one of the higher quality things that it has are preamp outputs for every channel. You can see right here that is something that a lot of manufacturers are leaving out of their receivers now. And right here to the right of that, you can see all the speaker outputs and the HDMI inputs, including the 8K monitor output there. And you can see it does 4K 120 as well. It also does have two subwoofer outputs. And they're just letting you know right here that it has an included microphone so you can use their Odyssey setup to perfectly tune any room. And right here, it's showing you the style, which I think is pretty cool, honestly. And it's telling you here in this slide that it has the most modern technologies available right now. Now this also supports HEOS, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth and multi-room. So it has multi-zone support. And taking a look at the reviews here, I don't necessarily agree with some of these bad reviews. There are only 52 reviews total on this ad. This one says buggy firmware. I have not had that experience. Now I did update the firmware immediately when I got the receiver. And so maybe I had a different experience. This one says it doesn't have Odyssey multi EQ. It does not, it has regular Odyssey. But checking out the five star reviews here, you can see that it says pretty happy. Best audio gear I have ever owned. Fantastic sound. Hard to beat the price. I also agree. It is pretty hard to beat the $1,000 price point on this receiver. Incredible sound reproduction. I kind of agree, it sounds amazing. I've listened to music and movies on it and it does sound really good. Perfect addition to my home theater system. I think the plan is for me to also, in the future, get a second one to upgrade my home theater room because my Yamaha is getting old at this point. So far, everything excellent. I agree with that review for me. Everything is great so far. And this last review says it was just fantastic. So the Marantz Cinema 70S has worked out great for the supercar street racing 5.1 surround sound in the bedroom. And like I said a few minutes ago, I do plan on buying another one for my home theater room to replace the aging Yamaha. Guys, I wanna thank you for supporting Supercar Street Racing in every way possible. Please buy all your products through our Amazon links that'll be in the description, including this Marantz Cinema 70S. And you can buy anything through any of our links. It doesn't have to be the product that you're currently looking at. And we have to get out of here right now. We have to go upgrade every receiver in Jacksonville.